Hi, my name is Sam Kevel, Design Technologist and Advanced Revit Instructor for Santa Monica College. And here's how to use Revit to make free hatch patterns for AutoCAD. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to go into the view and create a drafting view. This can have any name and we'll leave it as 12 to 1, 1 to 1 scale. Then we can use detail lines and we can create a box and we can uh, draw any pattern that we would want inside of that. Uh, you can use this for a brick pattern layout or boards or anything else that you're doing. I'm going to use it for this uh, kind of very, very difficult to program pattern. And then what we'll do is you need uh, Pi Revit, which is a free add-in that you can find online. And if you select all of the line work that you want to be part of your pattern, you can go to Pi Revit and it has a make pattern button. The only thing you have to remember when you're going to AutoCAD is that the pattern has to have a name that has no dashes in it. Um, they can't have anything that's not available to out of the box windows, so no dashes, no periods, um, nothing like that. You choose uh, your your units, whether it's inches or millimeters, it doesn't matter if it already says it, you have to select it again. And then click this button that says export PAT. You'll select the two edges and you'll notice that I didn't include the inside edges in mine. This will ask you to select a folder and I'm gonna send it directly to my desktop and it will tell me that it's exported. Then we can open up our AutoCAD and if we create any kind of box, we can type hatch and we can hatch that. And then underneath the hatch, we're able to edit it. I've previously uh, created a location for custom patterns to my desktop to match the video. And you'll see that test PAT will show up and it will already look exactly like we expect it to. This can be adjusted based on scale. I know that this doesn't fit exactly and you can keep adjusting it until it does because you'll want to measure it when you're in uh, uh, Revit first. So as you can see, it immediately will add in and there's no problem with it. It works perfectly inside of AutoCAD. And that's all there is to it. The only other piece is under the options. If you need to figure out where the PAT files are going under options, files, support, file, search path, I've added a user SAM desktop so that it is able to locate all of my custom PAT files. When I click that, that's how I locate them and that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and if you have any comments or if you have any Revit questions, please leave them in the comments section and uh, maybe I'll answer your question in another video. Thank you.